In this video, we're going to learn how to solve a radical equation which contains two radicals. Suppose I have the equation, the square root of 6x plus 1 minus the square root of x minus 4 equals 5. The first thing I want to do is isolate the more complicated radical expression on one side. So, the square root of 6x plus 1 looks like the more complicated expression. Therefore, I'm going to add the square root of x minus 4 to both sides. So that the square root of 6x plus 1 is all by itself on one side. So now I have the square root of 6x plus 1 equals 5 plus square root of x minus 4. My next step is to square both sides. Now when I square the square root, I end up with an expression to the first power, 6x plus 1 in this case, equals and here I have 5 plus the square root of x minus 4 raised to the second power. There are two terms which makes this a binomial. And when you square a binomial, you're going to have to use the distributive property. In this case, we're using the FOIL method to distribute. And let's see, I'll work this maybe off to the side here. 5 plus square root of x minus 4. Actually, we'll do our scratch work over here on the lower left. 5 plus square root of x minus 4 times 5 plus square root of x minus 4. So now we multiply 5 times 5, which gives us 25. Then 5 times square root of x minus 4. So I have plus 5 square root of x minus 4. and then we multiply square root of x minus 4 times 5, which gives us plus 5 times square root of x minus 4 again. And then we multiply our last terms, square root of x minus 4 times square root of x minus 4. When we multiply two square roots, uh, but basically we're squaring the same expression square root of x minus 4 times square root of x minus 4, which is the same as square root of x minus 4 squared. So that just gives us plus x minus 4. Because any time we square a square root, we end up with an expression to the first power. Now I'm going to combine like terms. On my left, I have 6x plus 1, and then equals and now I have the constants 25 and negative 4, so that gives me 21. I have x, a first degree variable, and then I have two radicals, 5 square root of x minus 4 plus 5 square root of x minus 4 equals plus 10 square root of x minus 4. I'll continue to combine like terms by subtracting 21 from both sides and bringing them to the left, and subtracting x from both sides and bringing that to the left. Our goal is to once again isolate the radical. So now I have 5x minus 20 equals 10 square root of x minus 4. We can treat 10 as a coefficient to the radical and divide it from both sides. Taking care to divide it from every term. Now I have 5 over 10x is the same as saying 1 half x 
minus 2 equals square root of x minus 4. Now I'm going to square both sides again. So when I square both sides again, here I have 1 half x minus 2 times 1 half x minus 2. Once again, we have a binomial squared, which means we're going to use the FOIL method to distribute, equals, and the square root of x minus 4 squared just gives us x minus 4. So I'll continue to simplify on the left. 1 half x times itself gives me 1 fourth x squared. And 1 half x minus, or times negative 2 gives me negative x. Here, negative 2 times 1 half x gives me negative x. And then I have negative 2 times negative 2, which gives me plus 4. All equal to x minus 4. Now my goal is to solve for x. So what I'm going to do is continue to combine like terms. 1 fourth x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals x minus 4. Then I'll add 4 to both sides. I'll subtract x from both sides. And that gives me 1 fourth x squared minus 3x plus 8 all equal to zero. Now it's going to be difficult to factor this expression or to attempt to factor this expression when we have a fraction as our lead coefficient. So I'll distribute a 4 through my equation. Essentially I'll multiply every term by 4. Cross cancel. I'm going to have x squared minus 12x plus 32 equals 0. Now I have a quadratic equation that looks like it's pretty easily factorable. I'll use the AC method. I'm looking for factors of A times C to add to give me B, where A is my lead coefficient, which is 1, B is negative 12, and C is my constant term here, 32. Factors of A times C, that's 1 times 32. So I want factors of 32 that add up to give me negative 12. Well, clearly negative 4 and negative 8 would be good choices because they multiply to give positive 32 and add to give negative 12. Now I'll rewrite my trinomial, expanding it to four terms, and then factor by grouping. So I have x squared minus 4x minus 8x plus 32. I can group the first two and the last two terms. From my first set of parentheses, I can factor out an x, and I'm left with x minus 4. From my second set, I can factor out a negative 8, and I'm left with x minus 4. So now I have x minus 8 times x minus 4, all equal to 0. To solve for x, I'll use the zero product property. x minus 8 is equal to 0. Add 8 to both sides, so x equals 8. Then x minus 4 equals 0. Add 4 to both sides. x is equal to 4. Here are my two solutions. My solution set is 4, 8. So we've solved this problem. I hope you found it helpful, and we'll see you next time.